All right, guys. What is up, everyone? So today, I just want to do a little story time. Um, so, anyways, um, last night I posted my Canon 80D on Facebook Marketplace. Got a couple responses right away, within a couple minutes. And I thought, awesome, cool, this is gonna sell pretty quickly, right? So whatever, I'm talking to this one guy, he wants me to ship it out. So, I'm at the UPS store. He wants my PayPal and email address. So I give it to him, and he sends me this shady, um, my phone's charging right now, but looking email uh, from PayPal and it's in my spam folder and there's a thing that says basically that this is shady, so whatever. Um, I proceed, I take it in to the UPS store, I get it all shipped up, packaged, ready to go, but I tell the lady my situation. She's, she says, um, well, I'll hold on to this for an hour for you in case, you know, things go south. So that's cool. If somehow you see this video, UPS lady, don't know your name, um, thank you. You were awesome today. But anyways, moving on. So I'm talking to this guy and he, tell, he tells me that um, my money will be transferred once I send him the shipping or the tracking number um, in the in the email it said that the money was pending which I've never had that happen in PayPal but then again I've never accepted that much money from PayPal so I don't know this was my first time about ready to ship out something that I'm selling no experience with it at all so anyways I tell the guy that and he's like yeah just mark it as not spam and you know you'll be good to go attach the receipts and your money will go into your account so I do that I send him the tracking number because like I said the lady was gonna hold on to it for me for about an hour uh, before she actually sends it out to ship and I'm sitting there waiting I'm telling the guy like it it's not coming up you know the money's not showing up in my PayPal and so we'll keep refreshing your email you'll get a confirmation so I refresh my email a couple times. I finally get another email from PayPal uh, saying that my money will be cleared on August 20th. So I text, I, I message the guy. I'm like, dude, basically, I'm like, dude, like this does not sound right at all. He's like, I assure you, you'll get your money. Um, can you send me a picture of the package so I know what to expect in the mail? Well. I never sent him a picture of the package. I ended up uh, messaging the guy back saying, I'm not gonna let this package leave if you know the money's not going on my account. So then he asked me to send him a picture of the package again. Well, that was the end of the conversation. There's a little bit more to it than that, but there's the gist. That was pretty much the end of the conversation. Ashley calls me, I tell her the situation. She was sketched out from the start about this. She thought it was a scam to begin with, which, rightfully so. I mean, obviously, I think I would have gotten scammed. But whatever. She tells me to go back in, get my package, come home. You know, no no losses. I still got my camera. Whatever. So that's what I do. I go. I get my package. I still have my Canon 80D. And I was going to sell it to this guy as a bundle which I thought was a fair deal. It's like two lenses, the battery charger, a battery, the manual, an SD card. I, th I thought what I'm asking for was a good deal. I thought someone jumped on it right away. But no, turns out he was trying to scam me. At least that's how I feel about it. So anyways, um, he reports me on Facebook and my post got taken down from Facebook Marketplace. I had to reactivate it and 
hopefully everything's good now. Hopefully people will see it. Hopefully somebody will buy it. But, um, yeah, I just figured, you know, I'd share that little thing with you guys. I didn't post last week. Um, I, I fund my YouTube channel. All the reviews on this channel, unless I say otherwise, like the, um, Five Fine stuff, I purchase with my own money. So, I've been trying to save up for the R6 that's coming out, so I haven't really, um, had anything to review for you guys, and my vlogs, I feel like they're kind of just the same thing, although I would like to vlog more, I just kind of feel like they're the same thing, just reiterated again. But, here's this one, I uh, hope you guys enjoy it, if you guys ever had any experience with this kind of stuff, let me know. Uh, I would definitely like to hear your feedback on this, so definitely comment if anything like this has ever happened to you before. Or even if you want to share a different scam story with me, leave it down in the comments below. Um, that is about it for today's story time, guys. <laughs> so, make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and as always, make sure to subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.